HR1, Jenny brought it up. It's, it's House Democrats introduce anti-corruption bill as symbolic first act. So the article reads, it isn't your usual bill. The For the People Act introduced Friday by House Democrats is known as HR1. Symbolically, their first legislation is a 571 page compendium of existing problems and proposed solutions in four political hot zones. Voting, political money, uh, voting, political money, redistricting, and ethics. A pledge to pass the bill was a common theme among Democratic House candidates last year. We heard loud and clear from the American people. Representative John Sarbanes, Democrat of Maryland, told reporters Friday they feel left out and locked out from their own democracy. If the bill ever becomes law, it's unlikely to happen this year. Republicans control the Senate, President Trump is in the White House, and the GOP vehemently opposes the basic approach of H.R. 1. This is, ob- this is why we need to vote a new president. Um, for this reason alone, I will vote for whoever stands for H.R. 1. This is obviously a pretty radical expansion of the regulation of political speech, said David Keating, president of the Conservative Institute for Free Speech. If this bill had become a law now, he said, anti-Trump groups would find it very difficult to speak as effectively as they have over the past two years. Some of the bill's provisions push the envelope, including reaching into state law. To settle the controversy over redistricting, the bill would simply take away the power of state legislatures to draw congressional districts and have independent commissions do it instead. That way, presumably, the local politicians could no longer gerrymander the districts to help their party and cripple the opposition. Some other proposals are not surprising. The bill includes an update of the Disclose Act, a pro-transparency measure that Democrats have introduced regularly since 2010, not that Republicans are any more likely to embrace it than they were back then. Here's a rundown of the bill's major provisions. The first piece is voting and electoral election laws. Voter registration would be made easier. Citizens could register online or get registered automatically via data from driver's licenses or other government sources. For federal elections, states would have to pro- provide same-day registration and at least 15 days of early voting. Election day would be a federal holiday. The bill would crack down on efforts to, t- to take voters off the rolls or prevent them from casting ballots. Felons could regain their voting rights after finishing their sentences. Which, which is still um, applicable in some states, but not federally. Federal elections would require paper ballots to prevent computer tampering. State chief election officials couldn't get involved in federal campaigns. And the bill would declare an intent to revive core anti-discrimination provisions of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that were effectively shut down by the Supreme Court six years ago. It, could al- it would also state that failing... Uh, to vote isn't grounds for taking away a person's vote regi- voter registration. The second piece is campaign finance. Provisions for, from the Disclosed Act would expand the prohibition on foreign policy money and mandate the disclosure of big donors behind politically active 501c4 social welf- welfare organizations. Absolutely, positively important. Yeah. Most Americans don't even realize just how significant that would be. Digital companies like Facebook and Google would have to set up public databases cataloging political ad purchases, requests of $500 or more, and create new measures to block ad buys by foreign nationals. Wonder why they're doing that. Russia. (laughs) Presidential inaugural inaugural committees would have to disclose expenditures in addition to the existing requirement for donor disclosure. This is a response to reports of unexplained spending by Trump's inaugural committee. A new matching fund program would support House candidates who agree to raise only small dollar contributions. Similar provisions for Senate candidates would have to come from the Senate. And the public financing system for presidential candidates, largely irrelevant since 2012, would be updated. The bill would quash sidecar super PACs that support individual candidates. Also very important. Yeah. Very important. When are we uh, on this? Huh? When, when is this being voted on? Uh, it's, it's, the Democrats brought it to the House. So the House Democrats introduced anti-corruption bill. So now it's got to go through the House and the Senate. So we'll see. Anti-corruption. Chances are it's not going to happen, you know, while Trump is still president. Anti-corruption? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How much corruption is it going to be anti? Because there's a lot of corruption. Well, and this, this literally cuts down uh, probably a vast majority if this passes. Yeah. Uh, The next section is ethics. Presidents and vice presidents would have to release their tax returns, something that happened routinely in past administrations, but not in this one. 
Presidents-elect would need ethics plans for their transition teams and would have to file financial disclosures within 30 days of taking office. The bill would tell presidents and vice presidents they should act as if they are covered by the conflict of interest law, which actually exempts them. Again, this wasn't an issue in previous administrations because past presidents did not have the volume of business entanglements that Trump has. House members would be barred from serving on corporate boards. Representative Chris Collins, Republican from New York, is under indictment for allegedly using inside information he gained as a corporate board member. Mm. And House members would be forbidden to use taxpayer money to pay penalties for employment discrimination. Former Representative Blake Farenthold, Republican from Texas, used $84,000 in federal funds to settle a sexual harassment claim by a former staffer, said he would repay it, but changed his mind after leaving office. But changed his mind? Nah. Congress passed a bipartisan measure in December requiring members to pay out of their own pocket for some settlements and court judgments in sexual misconduct cases. The Supreme Court would also have to get a code of ethics, something it has never had. And the laws regulating foreign and domestic lobbying would be expanded. So this bill is, uh, to me, um, and you can call me naive if you wish. I'm okay with that. <laughs> to me, this is one of the major, major reasons why so many people were behind Bernie Sanders. Because he was trying to remove corruption and build more transparency in government office. That's a, that's a good way to get yourself assassinated. Well, his old ass is still breathing, so. Because he didn't get elected. I mean, if Trump didn't get assassinated, is anybody really? <laughs> That's a good I point. mean, let's be That's real. A good point. I don't know, man. I think that wig is bulletproof, man. I mean, it might be, but I it's mean, bulletproof, we, but not windproof. Can we can we get somebody to take a like, shot though? Like. I'm not advocating for uh, anybody to um, violence against the president. <laughs> so that's that's HR one, and I'm glad I, we got through that whole thing without any uh, derailment because that's to me that's a very important piece that yeah. should go viral. It's not going to, but it should because everybody needs to understand and learn. You think they're going to try to mute it as much as they can? Or? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. This will not pass until we get a new president. Hmm. Um, possibly even as long as a. Uh, the Republican controls Senate. We'll see. Good morning, YouTube, or afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Good news. We're doing a weekly giveaway on our YouTube channel for Amazon gift cards. All you got to do to enter is like the video, give us a subscribe, and comment below. Uh, the more comments you give us on the weekly videos for that week, we go Monday through Sunday, the more chances you have being entered, basically. So I'm going to go through whatever the most creative content is as far as your comments go, and I'll pick a winner, and I'll send you a gift card. It's pretty simple. Free money. Who likes free money? I know I do. Subscribe. Have a good day.